Hello, everyone. There we are. Yay. Hi, Robin. So happy to have you here. Oh, good. Here she goes. We did it. Yay. Hey. Oh, okay. Help. Oh my God, so bright. Look at you guys. We did this. Okay. Because we are a little worried about trying Yay. to do um, <laughs> progressive. <laughs> um, but we were so cute. We're like, we're going to do it on both people's channel. I was like, I thought then if we just did it on one, then that's like, we need to show love to both channels. I got to move my chair. Okay. Over. So, oh, good. Okay. It worked, you guys. I'm so happy. Okay. So, hi, Yoko. So, welcome. Welcome, everyone. It looks like many of you made it over from, yay, uh, from Grace's channel. And we've been doing a little bit of gift exchange and we're playing with Dolce and Gabbana. Let's show them what we picked in case they are just joining us. You can go over later to see the first part, but what we did open up were the eyeshadows. So I have, so Abby, let's see, let me explain this again. So we both wanted to try this brand and we decided eyes, cheeks, and lips. And so I picked out one eye, one cheek, one lip and had it sent to Abby. And then she did the same for me. So we didn't know what we were getting until today. And so she picked out for me this uh, Italian Baroque, which is all shimmery. They're kind of sheer, I applied it. So if you wanna go and see your application after this, you can go back to my channel and you can see how they looked um, in terms of application. And okay. then do you wanna show them what you got, Abby? You look gorgeous. Okay, so number one, I, I can't seem to talk and apply makeup at the same time. So just mind is not, <laughs> but I got sweet cocoa. It's it is pretty. I can see it. It looks really you know, It's really pretty. It's like, of course, right up my alley. But it's so funny because I almost bought you this this one too because I was like oh I know she'll like it because we are the queens of loving neutral palettes but it is just that it is really beautiful um and I just love it and then the blushes I have to say um this I, I'm I'm in love with the blush how do you like your mocha it's look pretty beautiful nice. so Abby picked a mocha for me and it's like uh like an antique rose kind of like a muted Blush, but it's got a bit of a sheen to it. And I love Urban Gypsy. She said her mother-in-law used to call progressive dinners a safari supper. <laughs> I love it. And I love progressive dinners. My mom was like amazing entertainer. And so we used to, she would host these, or you know, we would do the progressive dinners with a big group of people. So growing up, this was always a big deal. And like this, so the, and she ended up doing a lot of like the dessert. So by the time they come to dessert course, everybody's really whooped up and she did cream to menth pie. Ooh. They did some food, you know, let's just, they'd had a lot. <laughs> I have some funny memories as a child of progressive dinner. So, um, so I love this idea. Um, but yeah, should we open up our last little yeah. thing? What did we oh, we have to talk about our, I'm trying to find my. So he was just picking out this very bougie car for me, but I'm really not that like, um, I love this idea, but like I was just saying, I'm kind of like, um, <laughs> not someone who. For my, where, what box? Okay. I have had it, oh, it's in here. Nope. You don't have your lip? I do. It just, I dropped it and now I don't see it. You guys? Oh, you open yours, yours while okay. I find mine. I do so, have it. I'm super excited. These are the Passion Lip. And she picked out the, um, okay, don't laugh. I can't read at the moment. It is the Pink Appeal. Okay. And so here's the beautiful packaging. And again, I would say it gets an A plus for packaging. Um, and, ooh, this is so pretty. So you guys look at this little sleek design. I love that kind of, and it has the, yes. Ooh, okay. so I think this one, you guys, I am I just thought this would look stunning on Grace. So let's see what you think. Interesting formula, cream to powder matte. Yes. I don't know what to expect. Cream I don't know. Lipstick. 
Ooh. I I thought she would look gorgeous with this on. So her, I was thinking of your little look over there, and I thought that would just look so pretty on. Yes, her. I love it. Ooh, I, passion lips. Is that the sh wait? What is the shade? Is that the so, name of it? Oh, delicious yes. cherry six three zero. Again, I think the lips were also warm. I was trying to find something that wasn't super warm. Okay, I'm going to be pink on pink. Yes, I'm you're all pink today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, interesting. I was going to say, um, so you guys, it does kind of have like a little bit of a powdery, but it isn't feeling dry. Do you? No, it's got a slip to it. It's really like it glides on. Heather's asking, is there one category of makeup that you really can't just get into? Oh, I think we talked about this, huh? The other day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, um, oh gosh look at that looks so good on you it, and Edith says great choice Abby yes. for the colors um okay good because I just thought that would look like an overall gorgeous look on Miss Grace um okay categories you guys I do not I uh concealer is just not my thing um, and I know I have them because you have to do it. But previous to YouTube, you guys, I did not like I probably owned like one conceal. Like I just I will just use my foundation and use like a little. I just don't like I feel like it ages me or most of them do. Um, I love concealer. <laughs> Wait, I'd, rather have have concealer. I'd rather have concealer versus foundation. Yes. Okay. And I do like that idea. And then powders, is that what we were saying? We we're like, eh. Highlighters. Oh, oh, highlighters. That's right. Okay. Except then today, I do have to share something. <laughs> yeah, tell them about what you were sharing. She's like, you have to get this. So we enable each other. Yes. In a really not, and not in a good way. Like, what were we oh, were talking about? Our yep. wish list. And then we got on this other tangent, and then I'm sending her links like, you have to have, you have to get this. <laughs> and so... Go ahead and tell us about that and then we can go back to our list. Okay, well, so then she just, you know, picked out this car and then she like then told me that I need the Burberry coat and then the little hunter boots. And I was like, well, you know what? I could totally rock that outfit. So then I'm in there looking at the Burberry coat and I'm like, what have you done to me? I was like, I've always wanted one of those. Um, what else were we talking about? Yeah, we totally uh, are. Yes, there's the wish list. Oh, I think we were saying as far as makeup, we were both kind of saying we tend to buy. We just uh, buy it anyway, right? Like they don't have any like dream makeup per se. But I think one thing is we both like I tend to have to like I see it when it launches and I'm like, I'm not someone who's just going to get it. Like I have to kind of I'm a late bloomer and I don't think that's always great for YouTube because I have to think it through. <laughs> Both of us are like that, though. Like, we won't buy anything just to buy it right away unless it's a brand we love. Yes. Which I think we love the same brands. Or it's something innovative. Other than that, I don't – I think we're both on the same – like, if I do a video, then I notice that you're, you're doing a video on a similar item around the same time, and it's not right away. And I yeah. like that you feature things that aren't new and are part of a permanent collection. Um, Heather says lip liners for me. Yeah, I don't really, I don't take the extra time to do lip liner. Do you, yeah. Abby? I, you know what? I need to because I don't really have, um, you know, big, you know, a big pout here. <laughs> But I don't always, I don't, that's not my favorite thing. So if I'm being like on it, I will totally do lip liner. Um, I love to wear lip liner and lip gloss instead of skip. Oh. Lip liner, and I will do that. I find it stays on a little bit. But in general, no, I'm not like, um, you know, many days the, the lips are the least. Like for me, I love foundation and eyes is like my favorite thing to buy versus I know people who are lipstick. I mean, I have plenty of lipstick. I love it, but I don't, I, often days I don't even put it on. <laughs> if I, or you know what I mean? Like the, I, I, if I'm not filming or something like that and it's busy, I, I'll put on a balm or something, but. No, yeah, I think lipstick's that extra step. But sometimes I'll put it on just for, I don't know, just for fun. But if yeah. it's a regular lipstick, not like the Chanel ones, then I'll I'll just wear it for a few hours. But no, I think we both talked about um, always wanting a Burberry trench. So that's oh. on my list. 
like that's on a running list of like at some point I'm going to get the bur- yeah. like traditional Burberry trench coat. Me too. I think that I love the classics. Um, so yeah, that's on my, but my dream car for real is. Yeah, I, yeah what is your dream car? <laughs> um, I really love convertible bugs. Um, oh. I always really love those. And I know now they're not going to make them anymore. And I just think they're cute, even though I did have the Cabrio convertible went way back when. Um, and I, convertibles are not that fun. Like, or, you know, your hair blows around. Like you think they look, like you look cute in them a little bit, but they're kind of a pain in the butt. And I live in a very rainy, um, yes. you know, like it wouldn't be a very smart buy. Um, but, I do, car. but I do th- say, I have always thought that's always, you know, I'm, I thought I would get one when I was 50 and I did it just to kind of putt around and be like, Ooh, I look cute. In my little, <laughs> bug convertible um but again i'm just not a car person that much i don't care or you know it just isn't you know if i had my druthers i just wouldn't drive yes so when abby and i were going back and forth i said my this is like a ridiculous dream car but it's a fantasy dream car has a lot to do with not driving also i don't enjoy driving yes yours was huge yeah so it's the rolls royce Phantom, but not, I don't want to drive it. I would like a driver <laughs> to drive me because if you've ever seen one, it is like a yacht. It is like a yacht for the road. And from what I hear, people who have ridden in them say it's so quiet. Like there's no road noise and has a tray that comes down. Like it looks really comfortable. So that would be my, so sure. that would be mine. Or I really like the Aston Martin, but I did oh, yeah. have an opportunity to test drive it, but I was too like, I didn't want to drive it myself. So the salesperson drove me in it, but the windows are really like narrow. It's really hard to see around. It doesn't oh. seem like a car, but I like the look of it's, Aston Martin. Okay. That or like a Bentley coupe. Those are really cute. You would look cute in a convertible Bentley coupe. There, I love these ideas. She's like good. Oh, she had an MG midget. I love those. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I can see you driving one of those. I love that. So we're getting asked what our favorite Rouge Coco Flash is, or I love the Rouge Coco Flashes, and oh. I I have two shades that I always tell uh, boy as just like your. I heard about that one. Nude, I love that, and then I love um, Live or Live. Um, those, well, I love a lot of them, but those are the two that are coming to my mind. Do you have any of those? I think I have one. And I was like, what is this? It's so unique because it turned in kind of like a glossy feel. Yeah. Um, I don't remember the one I have, but the one I have, I like. It's whatever that one was. It Did it come out with the? Oh, flush. Yes. Oh, flush. you didn't like that though, did you? I did. Was it, I ended was, up. was it too peachy for you? Something, something about the color didn't thrill you, I can't, yeah. I think. I don't know. I but I do love those cocoa flashes. I think that or the, I like the little bit of glossy, easy, no lip yes. lines. Just psh- it's like oh. not really a lipstick. It's like a gloss with a little bit more color, but it's not a gloss either. <laughs> <laughs> so oh. you have I have one other thing <clears throat> that I can think of on my list. And it's that I've been looking at it. So let me know if you guys have seen it. But it's mm. the Chanel Crush ring have you seen it Ooh. it's like a band and it's 18k and it's quilted so it has a quilted pattern on it and you can get it in different widths have you seen it it's I'm, really nice i like that looks really good let me see um, if i can find it on my phone you haven't seen it i think i saw it um let me yeah. find it has yeah. anyone else seen it because it looks really cute Robin's asking the difference between flush and live. If you hold on, if I can find it real quick while she's looking at um, well, I like jewelry. Yes, you look up jewelry. Let me see if I can find this. Okay, so they have it with diamonds. They have it um, just plain, not just plain, but you can get it um, in different widths. Oh, now, of course, it's showing me all of the camellia rings. But let me know if anyone's had any Chanel. Okay. Here's a mini. 
So here's a, like a close-up of the pattern. It's a, just a band, but it has that traditional quilting on it. So let me know if anyone's seen them. I need to go to a Chanel shop. This is what it looks like, Abby. Have you seen it? Ooh. Oh, I love that. It's cute, huh? Yes, I, I love that. Okay, guess what? I was able to find them and even read. Um, <laughs> without, um, I have both a flush and live. I can do a quick little little swatch. Um, Urban so Jimmy says she has the Chanel crush earrings on her wish list. Ooh. The ones with the diamonds, of course. <laughs> yes, really pretty. Heather says flush is peachy with a slight gold shimmer. And so I remember why I didn't love flush. I remember you saying that because I was like, oh, I like it. This is so horrible. It's not in a bad way. But flush is what my mom would wear. Like, you know how there's certain mom colors that you associate with? Oh, that shade. And it's not that I wouldn't, but that I just, when I put on myself, I'm like, oh, I have a mom color on. Um, whereas the... I think that the live is just more in my wheelhouse. Um, yeah, so flush is peachy with the gold. And I would say that this one's a little bit on the more pink mauve. Um, so here is flushed and then here is live. And I don't, I know these don't do the best swatches on the um, here, but if you can see. I see the difference though. And it's really pretty. They're both beautiful. And I think the thing is, I think it looks really nice on. I just think for me, I was like, oh, they look like, you know, that I have mom lip on. <laughs> oh my God. I don't think though, because my mom loves like peach, shimmery, like almost frosted lipstick. And so anytime yeah. I have that, it reminds frosted. me of my mom. Frosted. No, so no, no. I think you're right because it was like they, she, it was some Revlon. Does it, you guys, you know how it was like a Revlon? It was real frosty and it was probably, and so I think maybe that's exactly what I'm thinking of. Like, you mm -hmm. know, my mom was the type who doesn't, she wouldn't leave the house without being decked up. You know what I mean? Like, she had her right. lipstick and, um, Oh, so yes, that's what I think it reminded me. But they're both really pretty. And I think if you like peach better, like a little more peachy tone, they're so easy to wear. Like these are not, you know, they're sheer, they're very glossy. Um, so pretty. Oh, and I love Eau de Rose too. That's my favorite. Heather, I am with you on that one. Yes, that, that's a fave. So let me know, because we've got a few minutes left, but we think of some other things on our list. Um, because I said there is a video if you want to see some really great swatches of the eyeliners, but I can. And then last few minutes here, if you have anything specific, I can pull out and swatch it for you. It's not going to be amazing, but let me know. Yeah, anything else on your wish? I mean, I would love to see my family. That's the first thing on my wish list because I haven't mm -hmm. seen them since last Christmas. So we're not going to see them until everything kind of settles down. So we've done a lot of Zoom Thanksgiving and Christmas and birthdays. Where do they live? They're in the in the Bay Area. Bay, okay, yeah. That's like I'm like I'm in the same. My son is not coming home for you know we don't think it's smart for him to come home for Christmas, and so this will be my first. Um, oh, because he's <laughs> in the country, right? Oh, he's in New York, and so yeah. Um, yeah. He, he has roommates, and I got this huge stocking and stuffed it with all the goodies and everything but I'm having that little like we just had the you know as we talk through it just don't think it's the, the smartest thing to do so we so it'll be um you know it'll be a zoom which will be totally fine and um it's one year but yeah it's my first one without having <laughs> for so I had my moment and then I um, I just kind of let it go, but yes, other than that, I'm, um, Christmas will be, that'll be my, on my wish list is mine is that once we can travel, I think we all need to convene in New York city and just like blow it out. <laughs> what do you say? We should do that. We should go Trip. shopping. Yes. Oh, one of these days, right? Whenever, yes. whenever that will be, but yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything else on my list. Uh, and she said the Chanel bangles are gorgeous. But very pricey. It looks like all of the jewelry is very, it doesn't look like there's like a good entry point. <laughs> I, I, 
<laughs> right? There's no like entry item, right? If you're going to go with like not costume, if you're going to go with some fine jewelry pieces, like my mom, she said, go pick something out for Christmas. And I said, well, what do you want me to get? She says real jewelry, of course, because she loves fine jewelry. So that's where I get my fine jewelry. Mm -hmm. I thing love from it. my mom and I wasn't into it when I was younger. I'm like, why are you buying all of this? Like, I didn't understand. But now that I'm older, I love fine jewelry. I, I like it. having a few pieces. Did she gift you things like as you were growing up and you didn't really get the value? Like, or yes. you know, like you were like, yes, that's true. Um, I didn't understand the significance really, and now I do, but even for like. I don't know. I think it was the last 10 years for my birthday. I said, I just want to go through your jewelry and whatever you want to give me, if I like it. If you give, like, so this ring, she actually bought this ring That's around when this is Diana got engaged. Or, yes. So she wanted something like it. So that's where, when this came around, those other earrings that I wear, they're all diamond hoops. Those are from her. She actually had those made. And that she always has something specific in her mind about the jewelry that she wears. And then, yeah, so a lot of the pieces I have were hers. Um, and Heather says, I've flown a couple of times and it was fine. The planes actually seemed much cleaner. Yeah, no, it's not just the flying part. But yes, I, <laughs> I yes, I agree. It's just, um, you know, he, he works, you know, just, I, I think he doesn't want to. Anyways, yes, if, if for some reason, he brought something home or vice versa. I think it was more of that kind of moment, but yes, it's, uh, he has a, he has a ticket. Ooh, look at, they're going to get on this. We've got people going on our New York city girls trip. <laughs> oh, um, I'm, I'm going to plan it out. We'll get we to we have a tour. Yes. A shopping lunch tour. That sounds fun. So much fun. We have to go when the weather's nice, though, because I don't like cold weather. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, no. Let's hope for, like, yeah, when it's beautiful, warm. Yeah. What time? You're better at, at the seasons over there because your son lives there. What's a good time of year to visit? Um, well, I like that May time. Or I've had to, like, go there to move them out of dorm into an apartment or time and it is definitely nice and no it's humid there <laughs> um it's humid but um so i love that because you you know and then you can just walk till you drop and um it'll just be you know it'll be i don't know it'll hopefully be better by then too so spring summer let's just hope for that Lori says to plan it in the summer because she'll be there <laughs> yes Lori. We, we're definitely doing that that sounds like so much fun. Anything else though on your list? Because I really don't like, I don't have a wish list. It's just a running wish list. And then maybe at a birthday I'll pick something up or at Christmas. I don't really have like, I don't know. I feel like I'm at the age where I don't want to accumulate too much stuff. Yeah. In general. We accumulate a lot of, no. <laughs> Oh, no, I don't know if I have anything like that. You're right. I think I'm just, um, or I'll think of it after the fact. I don't have like some tally of the, something. I'm very lucky. I, <laughs> oh, I think that's it. I was wishing everybody like, you know, happiness and health and all those kind of things. But of course, I love the bangles and the tangibles as well, like in my dreams. <laughs> oh. Right. Yeah, no, I think it's nice to have those things, but they're not must-haves. I think when I was younger, though, I used to have, like, a list, like a wish list of things yeah. that I like. But like I said, it's a running wish list anyway. So and I was telling um, Abby, I think it was this morning or yesterday, I said I can't even remember the last time I purchased, like, a substantial item of clothing or even shoes. I think the Gucci loafers were the last thing that I picked up. But then she sent me over some links to a bunch of lovely cashmere sweaters. All of a sudden I was like, well, yeah, you know, I love, I love my sweaters. Um, and she, so all of a sudden I, this isn't a problem, but she's will send me some beautiful links. I'm like, all of a sudden I'm like, well, yes, I actually do need this Burberry and this little 
Um, we do have a question. Of, she's saying, do you do we pay attention to makeup expiration dates and times? And I, I think on that, I have certain things like mascara. Is like yes. if anybody's ever gotten a little, you know, if you've ever used mascara that's expired and had an eye sty or you know I've, if you've ever had that like yeah that one i pay attention to and probably more of foundation things that i'm going to be putting on my skin but powder stuff do you like eyeshadows i still have my coco mirage and i know that's like past from like do you i that's a good question like from a responsibility point of view, I would say, yes, people, we must look at the expiration date and find a disclaimer, Abby, good disclaimer. Yeah, disclaimer. I would say that would be to keep everybody healthy. Yes. Um, and um, we can, we can say there are certain things we pay special attention to yeah. with expiration dates, like mascaras, I think eyeliners, anything really close to your yeah. eye like that. Um, and of course, even if it doesn't reach the expiration date, but it doesn't look right, or it doesn't smell right, then yeah. Then, yeah. I think like for foundation, I definitely have some that are, I have a million foundations. So I definitely have some that are longer than the expiration date, but that they, if anything smells off, I do not put it on my skin or do anything like that. Oh, and lipstick, she was saying lipsticks too. You, uh -huh. can, you can smell them or they definitely, I had like a Keir Weiss one, which is a clean brand, but I, you know, I could, I could smell it and the texture was off. Like I was like, okay, too far gone. Um, and I know Tom Ford's lipsticks, they'll turn a little yes, bit. That was the one that I think I'd sable smoke. And then I just, I don't know how long I had it, but I smelled it once and I was like, this one is done. <laughs> And yes, I don't know if it's his formulas in general, but it was really strong when it was not good anymore. And then she was talking about how they're saying about the 12 month. I did notice many people were telling me about the 12 month expiration, but on eyeshadow stuff, I, I don't know. I, I wouldn't think that, that would be, I, I would wear, I would try it. <laughs> After 20, well, I don't know. I've never, have you ever finished an eye palette? An eye, an eyeshadow palette? Never. Um, Hourglass Radiant Light, Ambient Lighting Powder? Yes, I finished that. Powders for the face, those kinds of things? Yes, eyes though, no. No, I don't wear eyeshadow unless I feel like, <laughs> unless I have somewhere to go or I'm on making a video. But on the daily, like it'll be a one and done or something like that, or just mascara. Um, but someone said they bought, uh, Lori says she bought a makeup disinfecting spray. I've I, never seen that. Have you? Lori, I need you to send me the link. <laughs> Lori is also a fellow shopper. <laughs> <She's>, <laughs> she comes up with many good things. But yeah, so tell, um, I would, that's awesome. Okay, good. Um, and so, then your eyeshadow say six months. Is that what is this? Is it six or 12? I didn't even look. I don't yeah, know. I that think that's that, short. The right? yeah, I think that powder stuff doesn't scare me as much as you know things around my eye. Like I guess I guess I should be worried about eyeshadow because that's on my eyes, but it doesn't. I think because it's dry, you probably don't worry as much. Yeah, probably not. But yeah, I didn't see that on the Dior. But um, oh, she says on the back it says six months. I don't know where my. Wait, I have one right here. Let me see. Yeah, it does say six months. Okay, well, I will. Oh, wow. I'm probably going to be wearing it past six months, but <laughs> oh, 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 but we'll see. Because I really. I wonder like if it has to do with their formula, because they're also really like soft and creamy and all that. So I don't know if they're not as like, I don't know. That's a good question. But just to recap, because I know we're. We don't want to keep you too long. Yeah. The items that we talked about were the, let's see. Um, it's the Feline Eyes Intense Eyeshadow Quad in Italian Baroque. In Sweet Mocha. And these are shimmers here. And then are those, again, I can't remember, would you say one shimmer and three mattes or? I think mine is just 
mats with maybe one satin. Okay. The, this one has like, a, yeah. So I see I, on your eye though. It's a nice reflection on your eyelid. I that think satin. this one, I think this one right here. Really if pretty. I, yeah. It's really pretty. Thank you. No, thank <laughs> you. Yes, thank you. Then, I would see each other and we're like talking about everything, but yes, thank you so much. This was fun. And the it, blush. I love the blush. I, I think I'll pick up more blushes. I, I would say, like yeah, because this is in the right now, we can only find these at Harrods. Um, and but that is the blushes to me out of everything. I need to play with the eyes a little bit more, but like this is standing out to me, like right off the bat, like loved it. Did you? With yes, I think this stood out to me amongst the three things that we gifted each other. <laughs> Yes, I would definitely. Like, I'm interested in more of the blushes. Someone's uh, Laura's asking about the Sizzly Rose Orient powder, similar to the Iris Say with a little glow to it. I yeah. don't. Um, I would say yeah, Iris Say has a little bit more glow to it. I have the Rose Orient, and then I love the Iris Say as well. But the Rose Orient um, will kind of liven up your complexion a little. Like rose colors will kind of brighten up. Um, and then the Irise one has a teeny bit of a glow to it, but not over the top. So I, I, you, if you only want one, rose is going to be more brightening, and then the Irise is going to be more in the translucent with just a little bit of a glow. Like think of Irise would be along the hourglass kind of print, mm -hmm. and the rose orient is. I, it's not like super rosy at the way, um, but I love. Um, that's like my loose powder that I really do. I'm not a big powder girl, but I do love that one. Um, as I list off five, for YouTube, we buy more powders. But before YouTube, I didn't ever, that's the, like, I didn't have a lot of concealer or powder. Oh, really? Yes. Well, your skin though, your skin doesn't need powder. That's it? It looks a little greasy here today, but no. <laughs> But I, I have dry skin, so powder is just not, I don't really want powder effect on dry skin doesn't look too hot. I would think that the hourglass ambient lighting powders would look good. Do they look good on your skin? Those were the ones that I fell in love with. Like, I think they're so pretty on the skin. And for anybody with mature skin, I think they're just like, like they're spot. very perfecting i think yeah. they're so pretty um the lip though i like i'm trying to see i don't feel like it really turned to a powder so much as i mean it's not even really that matte what do you think um so it had kind of a cool like velvety feel like when then they say powdery like but like uh not dry at all like i well, found not to be dry but it's not um like I'm intrigued by the lips, but if I was to say out of, if anybody's like, ooh, which I would definitely like my first, I would say the blush is a must yeah. and the eyes I feel like are interesting. I'm intrigued and I want to play more because yours looks beautiful. Do you um, have a sparkle in your lipstick? There's like a little, I, mine has a little bit of like little particles of gold in there. It, this is, this one is, this has a little bit of Juliet was my mom's name. <laughs> and so this, is, this is a little Juliet of like, she would love, it has a little bit of, um, remember, what did we call yes. Frosty? Frosty. And, yes. So, and I think that it's pretty, it's literally just a personal thing. So yeah, mine. Here, okay, does this have, because this has a little bit of sparkle. And then Beth says, you have a beautiful skin. Thank you, Beth. And then Robin loves diffuse light. Yes, that's pretty. And then Tell just said she received her Tom Ford stick foundation. She said she thinks she saw both of us saying you like it. It's beautiful. I love that one. That's um, my favorite too. Yeah, it's really pretty. But yeah, I was wondering if yours has any kind of shimmer in there because mine does. Mine has a little bit. I don't know if you can see it on here, I but they yeah. all do. They might have these little passion lips might have a little oomph in them. Maybe, but I'm starting to feel though it did dry down. Like it's not a lipstick lipstick, but it's not totally powdery either. Yeah, the Tom Ford foundation stick is a long time love. Has it been yours too? I That's yeah. love. Yes, it is. It's beautiful. So 
you will probably love it. It's, I think that just the hardest thing right now is picking the correct shades. <laughs> yes, that's. <laughs> I've made mistakes picking the wrong shades, so yeah. it's expensive. Because I don't, I know, like you, I don't really return anything, even if it's my mistake. I won't, oh. I won't return it. It's like the only time is if I have a huge, like a rosacea outbreak where I know I can never, like if it was something, it was my fault, but like if it's something that's, you know, like, oh my gosh, I just had a huge reaction. I will do that. Um, but that's rare. Cause I always, then I'm like, oh gosh, who's, you know, yeah. <laughs> but then they just destroy things when it comes back. Don't they just, they don't read. That's what I was curious about. I don't know. And then I know in other countries, they do not, um, you know. They don't allow. Well, right? in, the, in the olden days, I they never returned, or, you know, back in, I, I could never, I never thought I could return anything. So believe me, I had many foundations that were way off <laughs> that I had spent my hard earned money on that I was just like, oh no, because they were just more, um, the formulas are so much more beautiful now and more forgiving. Whereas there, don't you remember, just like if it was wrong, you could really tell it was wrong, where now I feel like they've perfected a lot of foundations that you can kind of get away. Like they've put yeah. Reflect it. I just feel like you can get away with a couple different colors. Yeah, because I feel like if you actually swatch all my foundations side by side, they look so different on my arm, but yeah. then they somehow, <laughs> somehow it just works once it gets on your face and then you powder and bronze and all that, then it's like you can't yeah. really even tell. Um, we can't return easily. Yeah, I know in Europe it's harder to return items. I think it's easier yeah. for us here, but I don't. I don't know. I just don't return things. But that is definitely true. And originally from Brazil, never able to return makeup, only, sho only shoes. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, I think Nordstrom, right? Is it Nordstrom that has the policy that's allowed a lot of like... Nordstrom is like their customer service is just like amazing. But I, we literally had a friend who bought a leather jacket there and he has got some sort of something kind of loose like a year later so he was just bringing it in to get it repaired mm -hmm. and they were like you know what we're just going to give you a new one like oh. we, um like i think maybe they could i don't know what you know maybe it was going to be harder to have i don't know but i just remember you know but he said this is such good customer service that i now always shop there and i think maybe that's it the loyalty is that you will um I, come back. yes I was like well gosh but yes I thought that was kind of I'm a fan <laughs> I think it works for them for sure yes <laughs> okay well it's been like what we had our hour you guys oh well thank I hope everybody so yes I would say I was more curious about this brand so thank you guys so much for like coming and letting us play a little bit with Dolce and Gabbana the packaging gets an A plus um and right now we can only get it at Harrods and so it was kind of a fun treat to kind of gift each other because those are not like I buy a lot from Selfridges because it's you know, you can do the one-time shopping fee, but I don't always do it from Harrods. How about, do you shop a lot? Yeah, I have that annual, I paid the annual fee for yeah. Selfridges and their shipping is so fast. Yeah. You can usually find things that are offered here for a different price. Yeah. A better price. <laughs> yes, I was trying to get Abby to look at the Gucci shoes over there because they're better <laughs> over there. <laughs> She's so much better. So I want to shop on there. If you if you think you will buy lots of things that you see on there, then it's worth the um the annual. Yeah, it's and it arrives. I, I'm amazed at the how fast the shipping is. It's so fast. And then um Harrods, so I don't really shop on that often. So yeah. I think there's like a little bit extra when it comes to shipping. Yes. Oh yeah. good. I'm so glad you guys were able to come. I'm yeah, so thank glad. you. This was and like my gift exchange, my one gift exchange for the season. <laughs> I know, I love it. Well, I was, she came up, she was like, oh, this will be a, such a good idea. And I was like, you're right. And I'm so excited to be doing this with you because I adore you. And even though oh, you have an influence on me, I still love you. <laughs> she, <laughs> she, <laughs> We're a bad influence on each other. Yes. She was okay. like, what about this? I'm like, get it. I just text her, get it with a happy face. 
I, as I say, I have to be careful when I talk to her. She's not one to like think it through. Oh, no. <laughs> now I'm like, just get it. <laughs> but she's the same. And that's why we end up, I think, with a lot of the same things yeah, because we, we will have talked each other into it by that point. And then it's not like just one thing anymore. It's like several things from the collection. <laughs> yeah. It's so cute. Yeah. So I just adore, I do have to just say, I love YouTube and you guys because I just feel like we have made so many good friendships and I just, Grace, I really, truly, I just, I really appreciate our friendship. Like I was kidding. I love you, not because you're my enabler, oh. because I love you. Um, but you're just such a sweet, loving, like I just think you're a lovely person and I just am, been this was so fun so thank oh. you really like oh during this holiday. same abby and i think that's what's so great about youtube is you know the people who watch our videos everyone out there were so kind and then connecting with you like i never would have met you abby i don't think like i don't know where we would have crossed paths yes. so that's what i think it's it's so cool like you a lot of other people that we've met but um yeah, we're doing two girls trips. We're going to come down to California and we're going to go to New York. So just like, you know, plan out some good, um, we're going to be both coasts. I just decided because Lori, okay. <laughs> oh, that's so fun. I to look forward to. Um, I love we'll, it. We'll, we'll do, do it. And then we'll have to, you know, like make a tour and I don't know, make a little itinerary and people can shop with us. Yeah. If they can be there. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. And then we'll spend a lot of money. <laughs> but definitely for, I don't know, hopefully the next year, if not the next year. Yeah, for sure. But thank you so much for doing this. I adore you as well. And I thank you for the very generous gifts from Dolce & Bana. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. You guys are amazing. Um, and I, you guys are so awesome. I you thank you guys for coming this afternoon or whatever time it is where you are. And we will talk to you soon. Happy holidays. Merry Bye. Christmas. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.